Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warship and this epic battle and we have a huge pleasure to watch this awesome captain from EU uh, his name is Dex the Killer Knight maybe we just call him the killer and you're gonna see exactly what I mean uh, the ship it's kind of a familiar the name is the Stealth Pedo. I have no idea quite. Maybe it's the gearing, maybe? Yeah, probably the gearing. Anyhow, guys, the topic of this today's uh, gameplay, it's actually not this uh, uh, battle, but overall the um, game mode, it's fun. I believe that it's uh, something new and something that you probably like to play once or twice however to grind and uh, have the new oncoming tier 5 heal for free it's not bad it's all right however for the USS Benham that's different story there is a big youtuber his name is uh, pointy Harry Jedi I highly recommend you watch his channel about his thoughts and the grind of USS Benham it's almost ridiculous if you had to buy all the premium containers to receive the let's say USS Benham you probably have to pay around 220 US dollars to do that 220 dollars for only one ship uh, for me that it takes the cakes. I believe this is by far one of the most grinding and um, In many way kind of a ridiculous overpriced for uh, premium ships. I understand some of you guys have uh, Good salary and makes good money. However for a free-to-play uh, game uh, that uh, one ship or one tank or whatever cost as much as 200 over 200 dollars that it's just ridiculous and i believe guys without saying too much the <laughs> yeah this is a uh, kill 100 <laughs> percent yeah yeah it's a fun mode don't get me wrong it's it's uh, hilarious and you you do something different especially if you love the destroyers even though i do love the destroyers i believe that guys in reality not everyone can sit and eat and do your job at the computer there is one life uh, beside the computer and that is your work your family your kids and so on what i'm trying to say guys even though technically you can achieve this pretty all right ish destroyer the Benham for free uh, literally it still takes a lot of your time uh, to grind and uh, receive all those fuel tokens even though we you will buy some premium containers I do believe the fuel tokens will be only like 25 and the sad part what I personally believe what I see some other big youtubers spent to uh, 25 25,000 doubloons for couples of those uh, uh, containers uh, the containers are a big big joke it's a rip off in my honestly opinion some good looking camo sure but um, the percentage that you will have something else beside those 25 uh, full talk to the tokens the, the the currency so you can unlock the uh, USS uh, Benham it's just ridiculously low and uh, something else uh, you have barely some premium time and some other goodies of all uh, containers if you compare the containers of this rogue event and let's say the um, uh, Christmas containers um, this rogue event uh, container it's a big damn joke uh, it's overpriced as hell and you receive very little and I believe and this is some something also a um, sad part of wargaming um, some ships like let's say um, Cossack 
it cost me around if i'm not mistaken uh, two two dollars or something to receive of course i had to grind but the grind was not so bad and uh, uh, something else i'll also say it's that uh, you have no options some games you do have options to let's say purchase a ship with coal or doubloons whatever now you only can literally uh, have this uh, USS tier 9 Benham oh man this is bad oh that was close with those containers only which which is not the options I mean you have you have no option whatsoever to do anything else than to purchase oh that was a good, good dodge from the enemy <laughs> destroyer all right two <laughs> fires holy cow that it's bad probably the yeah hydro should be slightly slightly oh gosh so close <laughs> but now he has to hurry up because uh, you're not safe here what I'm trying to say you have no option you have no coal option you have no doubloons all you need the only way to purchase the damn premium overpower price ship is to purchase the containers which even the containers itself it's a rip off in my book um, I believe that uh, Wargaming takes the cake with this new type of uh, containers let me know in one comment below what you think uh, I do uh, we'll put this link below about this uh, youtuber point Hadi Jedi he makes this very cut clear exactly what the whole point is I understand they were he wants to make some money but this is a level too far um, don't get me wrong I do like this game but there is um, up to one level I do like this is in my book just ridiculous okay it's one versus two which is bad but you have RP very good uh, yep I do honestly believe that this last uh, torpedo will will um, I do this uh, some job maybe kill him it's two versus one. Oh man that is okay bad 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 Mm, and the enemy uh, messer um, I do believe it's a full HP oh my god okay this is bad very good that we have run out of hydro we have no more hydro uh, this is really tricky situations to be honest with you guys uh, but guys seriously is it any ship in this game worth over $200? And for me, my honestly opinion, it's no. Sure, some other of you guys are um, very good job, have a very good job, and uh, probably it's not so bad. But for me and most of the free-to-play players, it, this is just ridiculous. Ridiculous overprice. Um, and I don't like this idea that... You can only get this certain okay ship with containers only. Thanks guys for watching and always captains fair seas and goodbye.